Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to perform a Hypo-V replica plant failover. This is the third part of the ongoing mini video series on Hypo-V replica. In the first part, we set up Hypo-V VM replication for our virtual machine Test VM01. In the second part, we conducted a test failover on our VM to verify that the Hypo-V replica is functioning as expected. Now we want to perform a planned failover for Hypo-V replica. The question is, what is planned failover and when should it be performed? A planned failover in Hypo-V replica is a controlled process in which the primary virtual machine is intentionally failed over to its replica. In a planned failover, the latest changes on the primary virtual machine are replicated to its counterpart replica virtual machine. Then the replica virtual machine starts effectively transferring the load from the primary server to the replica server with no loss of data. Planned failover is useful when you anticipate that your primary VMs will go offline and need to proactively ship the workload from the source VMs to their replicas. You can use planned failover for example, when conducting a data center migration, carrying out maintenance or upgrading the software. You can also perform planned failover if you have noticed some signs of the approaching disaster. Before testing the disaster recovery process or failover procedures, you can perform a planned failover to ensure everything works as expected. If you need to move workloads to a different location or make changes that requires the VM to be offline, Performing a planned failover will help minimize service interruptions. Start Hyper-V Manager on the primary server and choose a virtual machine to failover. Turn off the virtual machine that you want to failover. Right click on Taste VM01 and select Shutdown. This will gracefully shut down the virtual machine on our Hyper-V host. Let's wait for the shutdown process to complete. The VM has been powered off successfully. Right click the virtual machine point it to replication and then select planned failover. In a planned failover, any unreplicated changes are first copied over to the replica virtual machine so no loss of data occurs. After the planned failover, the replica virtual machine takes over the workload. To ensure similar protections for the VM now handling the workload, you configure reverse replication to send changes back to the primary virtual machine once it comes back online. Failover will not occur if the prerequisites have not been met. Select the first checkbox if you wish to reverse the replication direction after the failover. We want to select the checkbox as I plan to show the steps for manually reversing the replication direction. Select the second checkbox to start the replica virtual machine after the failover. Under Actions, we can see the steps that planned failover will perform. Click Failover to actually transfer operations to the virtual machine and the replica server. Wait for the failover process to complete. Go back to HV Host 02. In Hyper-V Manager, check the VM status. The VM will start automatically. Right click the VM and select Settings. Click on Network Adapter. If Virtual Switch is not selected, you need to manually select the virtual switch for this VM. Click OK to save the changes and close the properties window. Now this VM is the primary copy of the replica VM. Under Replication Health, you can see the warning status. Let's fix this by changing the replication direction. Right click the VM, select Replication and then click on Reverse Replication. This will launch the Reverse Replication Wizard. Click Next. HV Host 01 is already selected. Click Next. Specify the connection parameters according to the replica server settings and click Next. Click Next to accept the default replication frequency interval. In this example, it is 5 minutes. Click Next. On Configure Additional Recovery Points, select the options as per your requirement. In this example, I am going to select the option Maintain only the latest recovery point. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to begin the process of reversing the replication direction. Check the status column for additional information. Now right click the VM, click on Replication and then select View Replication Health. Confirm the Replication Mode is Primary and Replication Health is Normal. Now you can begin the maintenance work on your main Hyper-V server at the primary site. 
Once everything is resolved at primary site, you can switch back to the original state by performing a plan failover again. Let's click on close. Right click the VM and select shutdown to power up the VM. Let's wait for the shutdown process to complete. Once the VM is powered off, we can begin the planned failover. Right click the virtual machine, point to replication and then select planned failover. Select the first checkbox to automatically reverse the replication direction after the failover. Select the second checkbox to start the replica virtual machine after the failover. Under actions, we can see the steps that planned failover will perform. Click failover to actually transfer operations to the virtual machine on the replica server. Wait for the failover process to complete. Failover completed successfully. Click on close. Go back to HV host 01. In Hyper-V Manager, check the VM status. The VM has started automatically. Right click the VM and select settings. Click on network adapter. We can see the external virtual switch is selected automatically. Click OK. This is to confirm that the virtual machine is connected with the network. Now, this VM is the primary copy of the replica VM. Under Replication Health, we can see the normal status. Now, right click the VM, click on Replication and then select View Replication Health. Confirm the Replication Mode is Primary and Replication Health is Normal. This is how you can perform Hyper-V Replica Plant Failover and Failback in Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V. That's all for this video on how to perform a Hyper-V Replica Plant Failover. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.